Is the ether real? I've heard it. It is not. However, now I'm confused <laughs> if it could be. And so, I mean, it goes on. But basically, you might want to elaborate. It's very that. real. It's 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 the. Uh... But not in the sense that it was originally. Let let let's be clear. Well, not in the sense that it was originally intended. Some well, universal background frame in which you could tell your motion by moving with respect to and things like that. Well, the ether does not obey the laws of. Yeah. Uh, what is called Galilean Newtonian relativity. It, it obeys the laws of Einstein Lorentz relativity, but it's really the same. Other than that, it's well, except it's a also space filling dynamical medium that uh, is. I well, I think it's the same idea as Maxwell was trying to build models. It's just the mo the mechanics that governs those models is has to have the modifications that. Special relativity. So, so the uh, modern demands. version of what they were saying in the old days, they said light needed some medium to travel in because it's a wave, and waves needs yes. a medium. In some sense, you, sense, one would say light are quantum excitations about some medium, which is, which is empty well, space, the electromagnetic, which is, which is your the electric ether. and magnetic fields. I would, yeah. I would say, the modern version of the ether is the more abstract version that uh, Maxwell eventually adopted, which is to say. It's a medium made of electric and magnetic dynamical entities we call fields that can fluctuate and support uh, values and, and support oscillations and so forth. So it's important. I think it's really Einstein. You know, he's a great man, but he really introduces a lot of confusion here. The the uh, uh, he did not the the basis of special relativity was not overthrowing Maxwell's ether. Yeah. In fact, it was based on Maxwell's equations, yeah. nothing else. <laughs> so it was, it, I wouldn't say it was overthrowing the medium, the ether, it was refining the notion of what the ether had to be. Yeah, but Just I mean, like your thing about nothing, it's not, yeah. it's not that you're, well, I don't know. So every now and then me and I say confuse people. Yes, yeah, okay. Right. Um, uh, but, but yeah, but I think the key point to, to stress for people is what isn't true is that there's an absolute rest frame in the universe. That you no, that's, that's you, and that was what was sort of the Michelson Morley experiment, which discounted that there was some yes, people, some that we were all moving that there was something physical that we were. I moving think respect. people thought they knew things about the ether, which in fact are false. Yeah, but but that doesn't mean there's no ether. It means yeah. that they had false beliefs about the ether. It just means it's something different than what people thought before, like nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I would claim. Um, uh, uh,